Now, it may seem strange as a grown male to say I like Sailor Moon, this anime about teenage Japanese schoolgirls running around fighting bad guys in the name of love and friendship. But I'll be real with you, Sailor Moon is just iconic, and I'm confident enough in my masculinity to say that I've seen most of the original series. I just really love the art style and aesthetic, the pastel but neon color palette, the classic character designs, and the beautiful effects and animation. I definitely draw a lot of inspiration from it. Seriously, I could do a whole analysis on the art style, but this is a shoe review. Now, Sailor Moon has always been a classic icon, but I swear their marketing and licensing team has been working overtime the past year. Last time I went shopping a few months ago, every other hip clothing store at the mall had some sort of Sailor Moon collab. Even Target had some shirts, which for 12 bucks, I had to of course get one. I even saw a Sailor Moon rice cooker in the wild too. Now, the latest collab seems to be with Vans. They have a whole line of shoes and clothes that launched in early June. I briefly saw them online, but admittedly, all of it was a bit too girly for my style, and I know, Sailor Moon being girly, crazy. But I happened to walk past a Vans store and saw the big display, so I had to check it out, and that's when I came across these sick black and white shoes. They happened to have my size and I got them. I just thought, when am I ever going to see official Sailor Moon Vans again? So a bit impulsive, but I have no regrets at all. First off, if you're buying these, you're buying them for the style and it's pretty nailed here. The black and white is striking without being as loud as the more colorful shoes in the line. The sides obviously have this Sailor Moon collage print on them with each of the main guardians. The outsides have Usagi, while the left shoes inside has Makoto and Minako, and the right shoes inside has Ami and Rei. My personal favorite is this image of Angry Moon. Doesn't get more metal than that. The other major design of the shoe is the text on the side of the sole with the show's name, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, but in Japanese. I'll be honest, the inner weeb in me thinks this is the coolest part of the shoe. Very unique idea. A couple other little branding cues are the emblem on the back and the logo on the insole. Very sick shoes overall. Sailor Moon is known for its bright colors, which I do love, but I am glad they gave some black and white options in the lineup while still making them stand out. One last note about the styling is the shoes come laced with white laces, but also come packaged with black ones too. Uh, personally, I prefer these to match my darker outfits. Speaking of packaging, the box itself is pretty cool too. Uh, usually, I just throw these away, but this one feels more like a collector's item with the prints on the side. Plus, you know it's limited edition when they put a release date warning sticker on it too. Like, dang, I guess I gotta keep this thing now. Even the tissue paper inside has all the guardian symbols, and there's a branded tag that comes tied to the shoe. Now, I gotta say, I used to exclusively wear only Vans, but I've kind of moved away from them over the years just because of how uncomfortable they are. Now I only buy Nike SBs for that reason alone. These being the first Vans I've bought in at least six years, maybe longer, I am shocked how comfortable they are. I noticed unlike most normal Vans, these have an upgraded pop cush insole, which is likely providing a lot of that comfort. Out of curiosity, I tried to look at the other Sailor Moon shoes online, and from what I can tell based on the descriptions and pictures, only the three black and white shoes come with an upgraded insole, while the others are your normal Vans. On top of that, the black and white shoes are also the only ones with Duracap, which supposedly reinforces the side soles and makes them more durable, which I definitely noticed the beefier rubber. To some, these extras may or may not be a deal breaker when deciding which pair of shoes to get, but it is still pretty interesting that they only come on three in the collection when they're all still around the same price. For me personally, I am glad I got these specific ones because these things are even more comfortable than my Nikes, which again, I only bought because I thought they'd feel better than Vans. One last thing I'll say about the fit and feel is 
I do like that they're pretty comfortably snug on my feet, but they can be a bit of a pain to get on and off. I haven't had this issue before on my regular vans, so it may just be a thing with the old school model, which these are, but the opening to get your foot in and out is very small compared to my other vans and Nikes, like this is the first time I've actually needed to use a shoehorn, and even then it's still a bit of a struggle. These are brand new, and I feel like they are already starting to stretch and loosen up a bit, but We'll see if that continues. Plus, if you tie and untie your shoes every time, then you may not have as much of an issue anyways. Overall, I'm really happy with the shoes. I'm glad I can show off my closet weebness while still keeping it on the down low. I hope they loosen up a bit more without getting ruined, but for how comfortable they are once on, it's a trade-off I'm willing to take. But yeah, if you're a Sailor Moon fan and love Vans, then definitely check the collection out before they become collector's items. I'm glad I got these when I did, because just a week later, they're already sold out of my size online, so if anyone else is interested, hopefully you have decent luck too. Hope this was helpful to any Sailor Moon connoisseurs out there, and thanks for watching.